Welcome to the beautiful Austrian capital, Vienna. We've been living here for over a year now and we wanted to share our top recommended places to visit from culture, shopping, entertainment and most importantly, food. This is what's next with Maya and Danny and we can't wait to show you around. For our Vienna series, we're obviously going to be exploring a lot of touristy places and monuments but we're also going to show you kind of hidden gems that we've found since we've been living here. In today's video, mainly we're going to explore the first district uh, we're gonna start from Stevenplatz and show you the Stevenplatz Cathedral, but also all the little uh, shopping streets and also places like Berkring Garden and Holborg Palace. So enough talking for now, let's get started. Depending on how you make your way to the city centre, there are a few options to come right out in the thick of it. You can get the underground tube or you can hop on the tram like we did and start walking through the main shopping street of the first district. Here you can take in the architecture of the city and a mixture of luxury and high street brands that make walking through the high street an experience in itself. But one thing to mention about Vienna is that every Sunday all retail shops are shut. So if you do fancy shopping, you'll need to consider this. <clears throat> okay, so our first stop is the iconic uh, Stevenplatz. Behind me you can see the Stevenplatz Cathedral, which is one of the most iconic landmarks in the heart of Vienna. The cathedral dates to the 14th century and it has the striking Gothic architecture. One of the most iconic parts of the cathedral as well is the roof that uh, supposedly is composed by 230,000 different colorful tiles. We're also going to take you inside St. Stephen's Cathedral where you can see exactly how big it is from the inside and there's also a few famous artworks too. Now we're heading towards another square called, I'm probably going to butcher this name, Ausgragumbern, Michaela Platz. And by this square sits the Hofburg Palace. Bear in mind that the way you walk to Hofburg Palace is quite important. If you walk away from Stevenplatz and towards the column of Pestlamak, you hit Louis Vuitton shop and go left and you will see how the street shapes the palace in the distance as you get closer to it. You might know Vienna for this famous entrance where the horse and carriages are parked outside. Currently there's an Easter market on display at the moment which has typical Austrian pastries including Krapfen and other souvenirs that you can get for Easter. So the Hofburg Palace is a Baroque masterpiece and it was the former imperial palace of the Habsburg dynasty. So inside the Hofburg Palace there are several museums including the Sissi Museum which tells the story of the Empress Elizabeth you can also visit the Imperial Apartments, the Silver Collection and the Treasury. And right in front of the palace there's also an archaeological site dating back to the Roman Empire. Super close next to the palace is the Horses Stable, where you can see the famous Pegasus statue above. This is also where the Spanish Riding School horses stay. So now we are in Albertina Square, where you can find the Albertina Museum. But uh, we're here for another reason. We're gonna try sausage from a very famous sausage stand called 
Pitzinger. So there is usually a massive queue. So typically you can find the bratwurst and also the sausage with uh, melted cheese inside. So Wurzel stands, obviously sausage stands, is basically Vienna's version of street food and you can find them dotted all over the city and they stay open until super late. So we got a uh, Kesekraner with uh, senf, so which is mustard. And then we went for a curry burst with curry sauce and curry powder on top. It comes with uh, black bread. And also we got a massive pretzel, which is the one with cheese. It's really nice. It's a very, very high quality sausage. You can feel it from the uh, meat. It tastes more meaty and not like processed meat. And the cheese, it's actually not that uh, fat and strong. So actually, I think it actually works well together. It's nice. It's sweet. So after all that sausage, we are in need of coffee. So we've come to Burke Garden. And just beside it is the Palman House Cafe, where they serve amazing coffee and pastries. And we're gonna try and grab a Viennese coffee, which is a traditional coffee served in Vienna. So Vienna is very well known for its coffee houses, one of which is obviously the Palman House Cafe. But this one's particularly unique since it was built in the 1800s originally as a greenhouse, which is why it's so large and spectacular. And then it was later converted into a coffee house where you can enjoy a specialty coffee, including the Viennese coffee. So strong. And also right beside the Palman House Cafe is the Butterfly House and in German that is a Schmetterling House which is a nice delicate name. Just outside the Palman House there is the Bird Garden which is a very small but really beautiful park right in the city centre of Vienna and it's famous because there is a Mozart sculpture which we're going to show you now so we've been actually blessed today by the weather uh, it's Easter time and the weather for the last few weeks was really cold uh, especially yesterday as well uh, but today it's actually super nice and here is finally the famous Mozart sculpture which is right at the entrance of this park it's really stunning Lots of people trying to take a picture with it and behind it you see the music sign The first district really is the heart of Vienna with the traditional horse-drawn carriages and beautiful architecture. You really can spend all day walking through the streets, experiencing the culture and finding plenty of unique shops, cafes and restaurants. We're now making our way back towards the Stevensplatz, towards the riverside Schwedenplatz, where we'll show you our last recommended stop within this district. We are heading to a very traditional restaurant where they serve a delicacy in Vienna. It's called Kaisermann and basically it's a way that they mix egg and flour and then they throw in kind of raisins and icing sugar and it's basically a form of scrambled pancakes and we're gonna head to a restaurant now and try the traditional one. <laughs> So we've come to Heindel's Schmarren and Palette Schinkel Kutschel. <laughs> so 
So that was a very delicious way to end today's video. We hope you enjoyed exploring the first district of Vienna with us. Until next time. See you in the next video. Auf Wiedersehen.